Hey guys, Jonan in here with the Prosperous Agency. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to cover McGregor Downs, one of the most beautiful neighborhoods in Cary, North Carolina. So stay tuned. And welcome back. Let's dive right into McGregor Downs. I am not going to be on this video because I want you to see a lot of b-roll on the neighborhood, on the location, on the restaurants, hospitals, schools, everything that is to know that there is to know about McGregor Downs. So you're not going to see me at the end. I'm going to come on the screen and I'm going to show you what closed in the last six months, as in what homes closed, you know, lease price versus sales price and all that jazz. So stay tuned for the end of my video because it's great real estate related information. And if you are new, please subscribe. We do post one to two videos or more. We try our best every single week. And if you're coming here to the area, we'd love to work with you. We'd love to show you around. We're super happy here. So yeah, let's dive right in. McGregor Downs, one of the top, top, top neighborhoods in Cary, North Carolina is located right off of 64 and roughly west of the US 1 South intersection. And it's surrounded by woods of Kildare and Queens Ferry neighborhoods. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's also very close to Waverly Place. And if you Google Waverly Place, you are going to see that it is Carrie's Open Air Shopping Center. We do have other videos um, relating to Waverly Place, so definitely feel free to check them out. Um, Waverly Place is home to Whole Foods and restaurants such as Tasu, Asian Bistro, and my favorite, Italian, Enrigo. Also, if you haven't seen in my videos that I have recorded previously, um, the Christmas tree lightning happens in Waverly Place. You guys make the same thing you got now, okay? Jingle bells, And a lot of beautiful concerts during the summer. So definitely prime location for McGregor Downs. Also, in case you like going to the gym, Lifetime Fitness, uh, that's right off of Regency Parkway, is also located maybe within 10 minutes of drive or so. And it's one of the most beautiful fitness centers in the area. You have swimming for uh, for children inside outside uh, a lap pool swim you have um you have jacuzzis you have pickleball you have of course a basketball course rock climbing so lifetime fitness is definitely a go-to gym for the whole area by the way if you haven't seen my latest video on the regency neighborhood that is very close to lifetime please feel free to check that out as well community center in uh, the community center in mcgregor is something that some only dream about you've probably heard of the glories that are um, north carolina's country clubs but this one really takes allure to a whole new level the mcgregor downs country club in Kerry is not just any old private club it sits on this amazing lake with plenty of activities for everyone. Also, the pool is situated on the shores of the beautiful water. And if you are into tennis, they do have about eight clay courts featuring absolutely state of the art vertical burn illumination and three additional hard courts. McGregor has an outstanding golf course as well. I mean, you know, it's McGregor. And because of its immaculate, immaculate uh, playing conditions, the 18-hole private golf course is consistently recognized as one of the best in the Southeast. So, yep, everyone, welcome to one of the most beautiful private golf courses in the South. If you are one that's interested, interested in schools, 
I can tell you not a lot of people are big fans of the schools. Of course, I'm going to go with pros and cons. Um, we are looking at Briarcliff Elementary School, Middle School East Cary, and High School um, Wake, uh, Wake County, of course, Apex. Now, why am I saying this? It's just because some of the ratings are not where a lot of parents would want them to be. But just FYI, my personal opinion is that the schools are very, very nice. A lot of parents are praising Briarcliff. They're saying that the, the teachers there are absolutely fantastic to work with. The same with East Gary and Apex High. So I wouldn't necessarily always go by what you can read online. Feel free to do your uh, check, of course, as a parent, and also look at what your children enjoy. Them just being as children, right? So don't always look at ratings. All right, the other uh, very important thing to remember about McGregor Downs is that it is very close to the uh, hospital. So Wake Med Scary Hospital, that's the only full service hospital, really delivers sophisticated medical treatment and cutting edge technology um, to all of the residents. It's also, uh, it also serves as a regional epicenter for specialist medical services and comprehensive treatment for people in the Western Wake County area. It's also honored to be Wake County's pediatric inpatient care provider. And I myself gave birth there, so I absolutely can vouch for the quality of, of and the care and how amazing the doctors are. Um, they do care for thousands of newborns and children each year. Um, and they're really ensuring that our youngest patients receive the best possible care. And so, you know, to have that hospital nearby is definitely a big, big, big check, especially for, for, um, for us as parents. Okay, so when it comes to shopping, of course, I've touched a little bit of the proximity to Waverly Place. But then you also need to know that right across um, 64, McGregor Downs has an amazing shopping center, um, McGregor Village, which offers over 20 stores just for your convenience. It features an escape room, a bakery, many cuisines, like great sushi, um, very, very uh, v variety, several cultures, um, cuisine. Um, also, I'm doing, I do my hair there just as an FYI for all of the girls that are interested in that. So really um, a variety of uh, restaurants, uh, activities, bakeries, escape room, like I said, great for parties and just for, you know, like whatever you want to do on Friday night. Absolutely wonderful. You might also want to know that the greenways are just a few minutes away. Um, you can hop on on the carry um, beautiful greenway. All of these beautiful greenways, you can go biking, you can go walking, just like I'm doing it right now. Definitely just a few minutes away. So if you are into exploring um, natural beauty of our city, you can definitely be assured of the fact that they provide access to pristine areas that otherwise would have been lost, like, you know, wooded stream corridors or flat plains. So greenways are a big asset to the city of Cary, and they're definitely very close to McGregor Downs. Hey, so let's talk about real estate when it comes to um, what happens in McGregor Downs. I am going to share with you the active homes, as you can see, the ones that are under contract here in North Carolina, contingent, pending, kind of mean the same thing, we're under contract. So look at this, 2.5, 1.6, 6.75, 2.2, .2, and days on the market. So if you look very closely there are some homes that are on the market for longer than others and there's definitely specific reasons why that's happening however most of them even in these price points are going very fast so if you look for example um at these ones that are uh, have already closed in the last six months you're going to see also the list price versus sold price so when we're looking at that list price 750 closed at 649. Oh, that's interesting. Then 675, 750, 869, 875. 
2.5 million, 2.8 million, 1.9, 1.8. So you can definitely see that in some higher price point, price points, there is a lot of room for negotiations still, thank God, but then others are selling for way above. Again, it depends on the neighborhood. It depends on the condition of the home. So McGregor Downs has older homes, bigger lots. A lot of people are buying them. Some of them are completely torn apart and builders are building, right? New construction investments. So it's a highly sought after neighborhood because of all of the amenities and the shoppings and everything that we've talked about. So look at these, ask me questions about, about the real estate market and about the neighborhood. So I can give you just the proper information about appreciation. We can go deeper and um, look in reports, right? Tar reports and see how much it, it's been appreciating, let's say in the last 10 years or five years or whatever the case is. And I can do that for you for any neighborhood, as a matter of fact. So let me know if you have any questions um, and I will stop this video here right now for the MLS and I will talk to you soon.